Hi, it's Lucy Edson here for GCD Studios. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be sharing with you um, a couple of ideas for incorporating some of the chip art tools and um, chipboard pieces into a mixed media project. Um, the design team for GCD has put together some really great projects um, using different mediums, leather, wood, um, polymer clay, um, glue, different things that you can use your um, metal stamps along with your chip art tool, block, and mallet to create some really interesting projects. So uh, we want to share with you how you can go so much farther than just be on chipboard with the chip I art I have my wooden block, which I've just sanded at this point, and it's unfinished. I have my two wings, which I made in one of the previous um, videos, that um, are kind of gold with an antiquing. And I wanted to make an angel that would fit the size of these wings. Uh, so originally I was looking at this and thinking that would look great, you know, about this size. So I took a piece of watercolor paper and I sketched, um, you know, a head and a body. I cut it to fit the size of my block. And then I will trim the wings to fit um, whenever I get this on here. Okay, um, I did want to mention that one reason that she might look a little bit odd right now is because I didn't draw the hair on. I'm going to do that after it's all collaged down. And I've taken my wings and I laid the figure over them and trimmed this out so I can get a tight fit. If it's not exact, that's fine. I'm going to come back and add some paint when we're finished. But I'm going to take um, and glue this um, onto the board now that's dry after the stains on it. And I'm just going to be using, you can use any kind of glue, but I just want to make sure I completely coat the back of the angel. This is just actually a gel So medium. I'm only going to put glue on the part that will be, you know, against the wood. So you can use a brush or your finger and just put the glue on like this. And then a little bit on this side. I want to make sure these wings stay on really well. So I'm going to Okay, now I've kind of lightly drawn in with pencil some of the lines um, we're going to be painting. So I have the hair drawn on and the halo drawn on. And I'm going to now add some texture to the wood using um, the metal art stamp, metal chip art stamps. I have connected it to, this is the quarter inch connector. I'm using the small star. And I'm working against my um, chip art block um, with my um, mallet. I'm going to just kind of make a perimeter of where I'm going to be painting the, the halo with little gold stars. And I'm just going to, to hammer into wood. Um, it's very much like the chipboard, so I'm just going to get it supported in where I want and give it three good taps. And I'm just going to go all the way around the edge of the halo. Okay, I'm going to do a couple things to start making the stamping really show up on this background. And the first step is going to be to paint white, um, just white acrylic paint over the background um, to start kind of an antiquing process. And I'm going to make sure I really embed this into the stars and different elements that I've stamped into the background. And then as soon as I work in one area, I'm going to start wiping it away with a baby wipe. The, uh, I put a what's called a layer of self-leveling gel just to kind of try to get the um, area that's collaged even with the wood. It's not perfectly even, but just to kind of try to match that up and I let that dry overnight. And what that's done, it's put a, a coat of like a sealer over everything and I can still paint over this now with acrylic paint. And I'm going to start um, by first working on the dress some. And I never really intended the dress to be so um, pink. Uh, but I'm gonna. I've got some white acrylic paint, and I'm just gonna start painting. As you can see, you can paint right over, and you can kind of get some watercolor effects because this gel is um, is very very smooth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work um, painting this, and I'm gonna paint the hair and a few details. Okay, I've got my angel project all completed now, and I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of the details of how this all finished out. As you can see, you know, I've painted in the hair and added some lighter colors to the body to give the dress more dimension. And then the um, halo, I'm going to try to turn this because there's a little bit of a glare maybe, but I've done multiple colors of gold for the halo, and, uh, and I've put a clear coat over the top to kind of seal everything up and finish this up. Um, like I said, this is mounted on a piece of wood, a wooden block with beveled edges, and I also add a little um, chipboard heart that I uh, used the butterfly um, stamp onto. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out and um, excited to show you some different ways that the design team has used um, chip art tools um, in creative, uh, a creative manner.